Well, today I thought I'd scout out a new fishing spot. And one of the things I wanted to have a look at was whether we could find any fish under the water there. Um, so I brought the old GoPro along, stuck it on a landing net pole, and we've had a look underwater. See what you think. This was the first time I've ever tried the GoPro underwater. I've always been worried about it leaking and it damaging the camera. One of the first things that struck me was how green everything was down there. And I was so lucky to capture this little pike under the surface on the first try, and I didn't realise until we'd got back home. One of the things that struck me was just the abundance of life that's down there. There's fry absolutely everywhere. Literally every time I stuck the camera under the water, they were fry in front of it. And they were so inquisitive, checking us out, not worried or bothered by the movement of the camera in the water at all. Such a surprise to see. We'll come back to the underwater footage in a short while. But for now, what we'll do is catch up with the camping trip that we had on the banks of the tidal trend. Now, my youngest son Jensen is absolutely obsessed with steam trains, and we'd heard the Flying Scotsman was going to pass through close to where we were camping on its way up to York that day. We waited in the end for four hours uh, until we finally got word that the train had broken down just north of Retford. To rub salt into the wound, this is just three miles further south from where we were standing. As soon as we got word that the trip had been declared a failure, we decided to pack up straight away, get something to eat and head over to our camping spot. And hopefully we'd have a bit more luck with the fishing that was not planned for that evening. Right, we finally made it to the trend. Yeah. Great start. Yeah, that's a great start, isn't it? So we've got the tent up, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, what we're we gonna do now? Uh, play on the swing. Yeah. And make hot dogs. You're gonna go play on the swing and make hot dogs. I'm gonna cast in ten times, get sort of better ground bait down with each rod. And then uh, one upstream, one downstream. Five ounces of lead on each of the feeders. We'll see what happens. Now the tidal trend was completely new water to me. I've not done any barbel fishing before. So all the rods and reels, getting used to the new equipment, it was all a bit of a learning curve. I really struggled to get the range I was after. I ended up fishing fairly close in, just holding bottom nicely. Right, we've had 10 casts. I'm hoping I'm doing now in terms of foot base on. Uh, big 40 mil hard to pull it. Hopefully, cast every 20 minutes. Now after waiting for four hours on the bridge, it wasn't just the kids' attention span that was waiting, mine was too. We found the river low and clear, and it was very difficult for me to keep an interest in what we were doing. I was more bothered about where my tea was coming from that day. One of the things that made it a bit more of a challenge was the fact that this speedboat was going up and down for a couple of hours. It really did take the shine off what would have been a really pleasant evening's fishing. And it's no surprise that we ended up with a blank. Uh, this is Daddy's tomato sauce, and he also keep it, and he put the thumbs up on it. Yeah, my thumb up. Uh, is that good, Jensen? Yeah, you're me. So back to our underwater world. Now this river's been slated in recent years for being the shadow of its former self, and people are always complaining about how it used to be so much better 30 or 40 years ago. One thing I noticed though, was the fact that this is so full of life. Although it's difficult to catch on this river, I think that's largely down to the abundance of natural food. I'll certainly be coming back over the course of the summer to see how these fish grow and mature into what's hopefully the next generation of coarse fish that I'll be able to catch. So I'm thinking next time I come down here of having a dabble with a fly rod. If you think I'm going to catch, don't forget to leave us a comment below and we'll join you again for the next one. Bye for now.